If you are wise enough to base your self-esteem not on being right, but on being rational, on being conscious, and on having integrity, then you recognize that acknowledgement and correction of an error is not an abyss into which you have fallen, but a height you can take pride in having cl uh, climbed. What is the specter that makes self-assertiveness feel so terrifying? The image of someone frowning in disagreement or disapproval. Willingness to let others see your vulnerability, that too is self-assertiveness. You refuse to fake who you are for the sake of an image. When you have self-esteem, you expect others to perceive your value, not create it. When you have a poor level of self-esteem, you imagine that only if only others value you, then you will value yourself. When your own good opinion matters more to you than someone else's, you have the foundation for self-esteem. One of the hardest expressions of self-assertiveness is challenging your limited beliefs. One of the most significant characteristics of self-esteem is that it is a state of one who is at war neither with self nor others. When a breach of integrity wounds a self-esteem, only an act of integrity can heal it. If you fully accepted what you think is the darkest side of yourself, in the end you would love yourself more, not less, and you would deserve to because you would no longer be fighting reality. If you know what a person ties his self-esteem to, you can understand a great deal about his motivation. The greatest barrier to achievement and success is not lack of talent or ability, but rather the uh, fact that achievement and success above a certain level are outside our self-concept, our image of who we are and what is appropriate to us. Some people would rather suffer guilt than take the actions necessary to eliminate the guilt. The greatest barrier to love is the secret fear that we are unlovable. If you are willing to stay fully present to your emotions without denial or disowning, the result typically is not the collapse of reason, but the emergence of more lucid awareness. In other words, feel deeply to think clearly. If you bring more consciousness to what you do when you are afraid or angry, you will see that other options exist. Mental passivity is the enemy of passion. Self-acceptance does not ask, do I like it or not? It asks, is this true of me or not? To take responsibility for our life and happiness, we need to relinquish the belief that frustration and defeat are our natural and inevitable fate. Self-esteem is the reputation you get with yourself. The errors you are willing to confront become the rungs of a ladder leading to high self-esteem. People who love themselves do not find it incomprehensible that others should love them. They are able to allow others to love them. Some people justify their cynicism about romantic love by pointing out that romantic love doesn't last. But for most people, no passion lasts. Why single out romantic love? It is a rare individual who knows how to nurture and sustain over time his or her excitement about anything. Doing so is an achievement to be admired. Fully to surrender to love can be terrifying, but it is the price life asks in exchange for the possibility of ecstasy. A test for the feeling of integrity. Are you proud of your choices and actions? For most people, a question more often avoided than confronted. But what an opportunity for growth this question offers. The person with poor self-esteem acts out of fear rather than confidence. Not to live, but to escape the anxiety of living becomes the basic goal. Not creativity, but safety becomes the ruling desire. It is the gravitational pull of these feelings that must be overcome if such a person is to rise. The more you surrender to the fear of someone's disapproval, the more you lose face in your own eyes, and the more desperate you become for someone's approval. Within you is a void that should have been filled by self-esteem. When you attempt to fill it with the approval of others instead, the void, the void grows deeper, and the hunger for acceptance and approval goes stronger. The only solution is to begin the courageous process of honoring your own judgment, frightening that that will be in the beginning. Who I am may be understood as a function of what I am willing to take responsibility for. The challenge for people today, and it is not an easy one, is to maintain high personal standards while feeling that one is living in a moral sewer.